Hello everyone, this is Professor Geek. Welcome back to the channel. And pardon my very low-tech setup here. I'm currently in a hotel. I was giving a talk at a university this weekend, and I won't be home until tomorrow night to my little studio there, so I can't uh, really do much about that, but I didn't want to go yet another day without a video. At the end of the weekend, I will, or perhaps Monday maybe, I will talk about the Justice League film and the whole fiasco of that, <laughs> and uh, talk about the... Um, Oh, I want to wait until all of the numbers are in before I, get, before I really chime in on that. So, uh, but in the meantime, I thought I would just chime in on the whole metal event in the DC's Rebirth universe right now. I haven't really spoken much about it. I have done some previous talks about Superman Rebirth and the Batman Rebirth titles in general. I know that this has been immensely popular, though. It's been topping the sales, and, you know, I'm buying them too. So, in general, kind of in short, I think thus far... If it continues, as as they've implied, you know, if the continue if the story continues to to unfurl as they've implied it is, I think it's going to be a great story because the idea is that DC was far too dark with the New Fifty Two. They realized that they rebooted, and they did. It was a reboot, no matter what they say <laughs> with with Rebirth, and that's great, wonderful, loved it. I was on board. It was wonderful to see all the hope and brightness come back into the universe. And that was great, but, uh, you know, you, you can't just have bright hope that's never challenged. It does need to be challenged, and then it should overcome it. So this is a good, very dark challenge, this whole uh, story arc, the metal story arc. And uh, Scott Snyder's you know, kind of the, the, the principal behind it, and then a lot of other writers have been helping with different titles and stuff. I'm not a huge fan of Scott Snyder just in general. He's done some great things, but I, you know, just his name alone isn't enough to get me excited. Um, I really kind of tire of his alternate Batman fetish <laughs> that he has. He's always trying to get him out of the regular costume or add something else to it or whatever, you know, but, um, but you know, he's a, he's a huge fan favorite and very popular and he, and his stories sell big time. And I think he's doing a good job with this so far. So if in the end, the the heroes are able to overcome and we've got pure uh hope prevailing again then i think this is going to be a good event overall if it doesn't if they try to drag this out even longer and try to make some kind of i don't know this this is, will forever affect the universe in a dark way or whatever then it's going to be crap and then i'll speak out against it quite a bit but thus far i mean you really can't speak to the story arc in general because everything's very sort of chapter and episodic and uh, we don't really have a lot of um, coming together yet. It's not really tied together. We don't really have a lot of meaning made out of it yet. But a great setup and cool stories. Now, that's just uh, from a from a storytelling perspective. To be... Ugh, get away from that page as fast as I can. Anyway, uh, from a taste perspective, though, man, I just... I'm so tired of these. I really am. Not that they're written poorly or anything. They're written great, but it's just such a long, drawn-out dark abysmal thing that's happening to the universe guys except especially i've even forgot there have been so many tie-ins and one shots and everything that i forget which one is which but there was one of the i think one of the proper metal issues came out with superman uh believing that he was deciphering a, a message that batman was sending him so he was out doing this and that and then at the end they were trying to paint it as though nope that was just a trap and you fell into it haha -ha, more darkness and death coming and it's just, I'm getting sick and tired of, like, another. here's another story of how everything falls apart. Here's another story of how everything's abysmal and you shouldn't hope for anything. And it's just, guys, enough, enough. I know you want to sell a lot of titles, and I know that you want to drag it out as long as possible so you can sell more of those titles, but we, we need we need a break now. It's time. And, and I'm currently caught up to that, to that one I just flipped through. The Batman Lost was the last one out, I believe. Um and and it was it was a pretty decent story it ended with far too much of a dark you know um hopeless ending yet again but i'm just kind of sick of it enough guys come on bring the hope now you you've torn it down enough Let, let's go ahead and wrap this up now and and give us the payoff please so that's where i'm at with it and if if they don't do that I mean, God, look at that see i mean you know it's it's all fine because this is the dark dark universe this isn't our batman world and all of these are examples of batman gone wrong and batman's fears and tragedies that setup's brilliant i love that i love that there's a you know, Batman's fears and failures have each gone to a to an ultimate fruition in a darker world or whatever. And now all of those nightmares, all those fears, and uh, have developed into the uh, sentient beings in these sentient worlds. And now they're coming back to to haunt him. And are you know are the main uh, DC Earth, um, you know, literally. So that's a great premise. Love it. Uh, but you know, I'm just I'm done seeing them tear everything down and done seeing them torture my heroes. I'm done seeing you know the no win situation. Enough, guys. Come on. 
bring the payoff. So hopefully it's got to happen soon, I imagine, because uh, the, the wonderful event, the uh, Superman Doomsday clock is coming soon. And I'm really excited about that. So I imagine this can't last but so long. I'm sure it's announced right now. I just don't have the dates in front of me. And if I did, I'd forget them anyway, because I'm an English professor and I don't do numbers. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, I know the dates are announced and then the when the issues are coming out and everything and it's going to be finished, I guess. I know that's all announced, but hopefully it'll be soon because I am uh, it's wearing on me. If I had a if I could read these all in a trade, I'd probably enjoy them a lot more because it is good writing going into this. They're crafted very well. I just am tired of the darkness, you know. So, that's me. That's my take on uh, on metal. It's a it's a great story. That's just my taste. Love to hear your thoughts on it if you're reading it. Uh, you know, it, it's rough for a person like me to read it because I just this is not my thing. And I know a lot of people who are kind of a little turned off by Rebirth. The people who gloried in the new Fifty Two and all of that dark, dark ridiculousness um, are really happy to see this because now they've got a little a bit of their flavor coming back. So you know, a little something for everybody that doesn't affect the universe. Again, if they finish it out as they've implied, they're going to finish it out, which I think they will. So I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. Are you enjoying it? What concerns do you have, if any? Uh, which ones have you thought more of than others? And uh, do tune in again, at least by Monday, if not tomorrow, whenever those Justice League numbers are announced. I've got some comments on, on that whole movement and, and what's gone wrong. People are saying, this is the problem, this is the problem. No, this, this is really the problem. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. And uh, lots more stuff to come. Until next time, keep enjoying and digging deeper into the superhero stories you love. Thanks for watching.